In this video, we're gonna learn a very simple way to stabilize kind of a little shaky shot in Fusion. We'll go from this to this. My name's Casey, I help content creators make amazing things in Fusion. I have a free Fusion survival guide. There is a link down in the description below. It gives you the essential tips for working, making your own stuff in Fusion. So, stabilizing shots. There are a lot of different ways to do this in Resolve. Today, we're gonna look at just one of them. And here's the situation that I run into a lot doing kind of visual effects and things in Fusion. When you're in the Fusion page of Resolve and you wanna do an effect like I'm adding this kind of sky reflection to this coffee here, maybe you have quite a few nodes or whatever, but then you realize that actually if you zoom in here that this kind of shakes a little bit. What's with that? Somebody didn't lock the camera down. Maybe it's on a shaky table, I don't know. But it's a dead giveaway because the reflection doesn't really shake, neither does the mask, and uh, it's kind of a problem. So what we either need to do is track stuff to the moving shot or we need to lock down the moving shot. And in this case, I don't really like this jiggly camera anyway, so we might as well just stabilize it. Now, this is the kind of thing that you could do in the edit page, just in the inspector. In the edit page, you can select a clip in the timeline and then go over to the inspector. And here under stabilization, you can twirl this down and you could do something like just click camera lock and hit stabilize. And this is gonna do a pretty good job of locking this thing down. But when you take that clip over to Fusion, it's not actually gonna be stabilized. So you would have to render it out or do something that's not so great. So back in Fusion, if you want to just stabilize this really quick before you do your compositing and stuff, here is a way to do that. I'll just make a little bit of room here. And here after this media in one, this is our original footage. Just hit two on the keyboard to bring this up. Again, this is moving around, right? Well, we can add a tracker and I'll just add a planar tracker because it's just easy. And with the planar tracker selected, I'm just gonna select anything that's moving. So I'll just kind of, I don't know, select a bunch of kind of high contrast stuff here. It really doesn't matter that much as long as you get a decent sized area on the screen and there aren't like people walking through the scene or you know things moving that are separate from the camera. Over here in our inspector, the only thing I'm gonna change is here motion type under perspective. I'm just gonna go to translation for now and I'll hit set for our reference time. I just kind of started in the middle of this clip doesn't really matter then i'm going to track this forward with the track to end button and it will track the motion i'll go back to our reference time at frame 96 and then track it backward like this there we go and you almost barely even notice it moving but if you zoom in you can see it's kind of shaking right and it's tracking all of those little spots that are moving even though they're just moving a little bit and then we're going to select this planar tracker and go over to where it says operation mode under track just go down to steady then I'll make sure to bring up our planar tracker in our second viewer here by clicking on the second dot or hitting two on the keyboard. And now look, oh baby, it's locked down. We literally have this on lockdown. Now we have a nice steady shot, really easy to do right here in the node graph. We don't have to render things out or go back to the edit page or anything like that. Even though the edit page stabilization is very good. If you need to stabilize a plate or something in Fusion first, this is a great way to do it. One thing you will want to do is probably add a transform after this, just to zoom this up a touch to make sure that you're not getting any edges getting cut off or anything like that. Because when you stabilize things, it will kind of jiggle the edges a little bit, but no problem. Just zoom it up a touch and you'll be good to go. Now we have this nice lockdown shot that's a lot easier to deal with for your visual effects. This is one of the many little tricks that you learn working with Fusion uh, day in and day out. If you're just getting into Fusion, I definitely recommend checking out our Fusion Survival Guide. We go over so many great tips for working in Fusion that'll just make your life so much easier. If you're trying to learn Fusion, you're just getting into it, can't recommend it enough. There's a link down in the description below. Make sure to check that out. I also have a lot of other Fusion-based tutorials, you know, on the YouTube here. So I don't know, you know, if you want to hang out some more, you can, that'd be cool. And if, and if not, well then happy trails, you know, I hope that, I hope that you make some cool stuff, some really cool stuff, a lot.